right. Um, I want to walk you guys through the um, Pro Tools simulation software. So first of all, once you open your Pro Tools, you go to File, you click New Project, or you can use this this particular one here. Yeah, rather, so you click New Project. allow it to initialize all right you type in the name of your project next 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 finish so now this is the two palettes so you are most likely to be making use of this um tools here here you have your select mode here you have your component mode so these are the two most used tools here so i will start with this so you click here and you click p you want to select components you write the name of the component so i will write uh button You double click once you double click the component will appear at this particular part so i'm having my button here so i'll write again okay let me select led first led so you go down and select the one you want to use so this this part are the animated Part of the LED, you want to just normal generic like emitting diode, but you can uh, animate these ones. You can see the animated LED model here. So this is blue, this is red. So I'm, I'm going with red. So you double click, you have the LED here. So what other components do I need? I need cell, cell, single cell. You double click. Again, I need resistor. So you have your resistor. So that's the final component you need, right? So you click OK. So let's draw the circuit diagram. So I will drop the battery. The next thing should be the resistor. So I have my resistor here. So now, if you want to select the component, you can go back to the selection mode. You click selection mode. You can now move the component around. You can also highlight it and you move around. So I select my button. I'll add my button here. Then finally, the LED. This is my LED. I'll do the connection. So bring your cursor close to whichever, whichever component you want to connect. So once you do that, you see you see a square highlighted um, something. Yeah, that's this. You click and you join. Do the same with the rest. So now this is 10k. I don't want to use 10k, and this is 1.5 volt. I don't want to use 1.5 volt. So what you do is that you double click, go to selection mode, and you double click. So once you double click, you can change the voltage. So I want to use 9 volts, 9.0 volts. Okay. Now I'll double click. The resistor to I want to change it to 380 ohms. You say okay. So we are done with the circuit diagram. The next thing is to simulate. So at the left bottom part of your of your workspace, you will see the play button there. 
score run. So once you point your cursor to that particular part, you'll be seeing the name of the icon. So this is run the simulation. So I will click. So once you run the simulation, you wait a bit. So it has started running. So for us to see if our secret is um, if our secret is correct, we will tap the push button as you can see. The LED is lighting. The LED is lighting. So now let's say I want to okay, let me change the value of this resistor. Let me change it to 10k so that we can observe the illumination coming from the LED. So I have 10 key. So I'll run this simulation again. You observe that the LED is no longer bright. The LED is no lo longer bright because we are having a very large resistance here. So let me go back. Mind you, if you want to change anything, you need to stop the simulation. So I'll stop the simulation. I'll change the value of the resistor again. Let me use 470 ohms. Okay. So you start the simulation once more. And you close the button. As you can see, it's lighting again. So now the next thing is for us to measure the voltage at this particular point. We measure voltage at this particular point. We also measure voltage at across this LED. So you stop the simulation, you go to the two um, box again, and you click this particular two. So once you click, you see the list of the instruments that you'll be needing. Now we want to measure DC voltage because the battery is giving us DC volts. So we want to measure DC voltage. So what you do is that you click DC voltmeter. So you will drop it here this point drop it here remember that if you want to measure voltage you may you measure voltage in parallel Y currents you measure in series so you connect this to this and that to that the same thing goes with this and also this So let's run the simulation. So if I close this switch now, you observe that this is exactly 9 volts. This is exactly 9 volts because we're having 9 volts at this input part. But the voltage across, voltage drop across this LED is 2.23, which is the typical voltage drop ac across um, light emitting diodes. So this is how you test voltage in your circuit. So using your multimeter tool in your physical circuit, you do the same. So if you want to measure voltage, place your positive probe at the, at the positive end, which is the positive terminal of the battery, while the negative goes to the negative terminal. Most of the time, the negative terminal is the black probe. It's usually connected um, to the COM. On your multimeter, they label it COM. Why the positive part, the label it um, V ohms, V ohms. So that's that. So I hope you, I hope you um, complete your assignment. Probably send a screenshot to the group chat.